Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll try to quickly describe the functionality of the ePlan data portal. Okay, the ePlan data portal is an app provided with ePlan. It's also a standalone website and a parts repository. It currently has over 250 manufacturers and 900,000 parts. The data on the data portal is provided by the various manufacturers, so you can always be assured that the data is current and up to date. The data portal is designed to uh, uh, allow users of ePlan to quickly add parts to their designs without the burden of doing the backend admin work of uh, creating new part instances. It helps you design your uh, projects faster. Uh, if you want to check out the website, uh, you can just Google it or use the URL I provided here. The data portal itself is open to all uh, visitors, but to download data from the data portal to your ePlan instance, it does require a user account. And you can uh, create a user account within ePlan if you go to the main menu uh, settings, user management data portal. I should also add that user accounts are available to ePlan uh, license holders with active uh, software maintenance agreements. Okay, I have ePlan loaded and I'll just go up to the utilities menu and select data portal from the menu and it will launch the ePlan data portal. A uh, quick overview, I have the main search bar here. You can enter descriptions or part numbers there. Uh, there's a search button here. We have six main menus uh, with a info tab. Uh, the first main menu is the manufacturer's overview. Each of these tiles represents a, a unique manufacturer with the exception of Rockwell Automation, which has two separate tiles one for IEC data and one for NFPA data. Now this is a bit of a misnomer. ePlan ships with two uh, symbol libraries, two different symbol libraries for NFPA users, one with a eight millimeter metric grid pitch on the symbol pinouts and one with a half inch symbol pinout for NFPA uh, ENUS users. Now uh, the ENUS users would typically use a page size of an ANSI D and the folks using the uh, NFPA millimeter would use a modified version of uh, ANSI B, right? So um, up here we have a, a area where new manufacturers are added. You'll also see notes in here from time to time uh, about updates or maintenance um, uh, going on on the data portal. Okay, if I click on any one of these tabs or these tiles, uh, I'll be brought to a, uh, a view. Uh, this is called the ePlan catalog view in which you see basically a explorer tree view style uh, display that has the various categories of parts listed. These categories or product groups match uh, what's in the ePlan uh, parts manager in the tree view. All right, so if you get, uh, if you're a person who gets used to selecting parts in the ePlan parts manager based on the tree view, this should be very familiar to you and uh, you should be able to find your parts very quickly. Alternately, there is an alternate display here and that would be the manufacturer's display view. In this case, it's ABB. If I select that, uh, the display will change to reflect the descriptions that the various manufacturers have submitted for those product uh, categories, all right? Um, if I were to select one of these products in this tree view, it would jump to the next uh, view. And that view is a list tab. Here in the list tab, we can see the data from our search results displayed in a format that is known as a table view. As many as a thousand search results can be displayed per page if desired. To change the number of displayed results, simply select your preference here in the drop-down list. 
If your search results exceed a page or more, you can use the right and left arrow keys to quickly jump through the results. We also have the option to display the search results using an alternate display method that eFlan refers to as the block view. Simply click the icon here in the upper right to activate that view. Now this view reflects the kind of high level information that you would expect to see on a reseller's website. And very often it is enough for most part selections. A unique offering here is the row of graphical icons, which ePlan labels as features. These icons are used to quickly identify to the user additional types of data that are available. From left to right, we have the manufacturer's data, which they will all have, a function template icon, which is used to provide functional logic for the parts, an icon to denote that a schematic macro is provided, an icon to denote that a 2D layout macro is provided, an icon to denote that a 3D pro panel model is available, and an icon to denote that a DXF file is also provided. So uh, by clicking on the ePlan part number, we can jump to a more detailed view of this part where we have even more uh, properties displayed here in various languages. We also have here an icon that identifies that manufacturer's documents are available. This can include links to the manufacturer's website and PDF data sheets. Um, in this view up here, we have an image of the product. That image will display when loaded or selected in the parts manager in the graphical preview, so you can get a, a quick visual quick reference of the part. We also have an image of the provided schematic macro. With the exception of the Rockwell NFPA parts, all schematic macros on the data portal are created using symbols from the IEC symbol library. Designers creating NFPA inch or metric designs can still download these parts. When inserting these macros into a project, ePlan will compare the macro with the project. If the macro contains symbols from a foreign library, ePlan will ask if you want to swap the macro symbols out with symbols used in the project. In the case of NFPA metric designs, you may need to flip or rotate the macro. In the case of NFPA inch designs, you may need to rotate or flip the macro and resize it. At the bottom of the page, we have an image of the Pro Panel 3D macro. And at the top of the page, we have a row of icons that enable users to access specific data from the data portal that would be very helpful for certain workflows. Users are often confused as to what these icons represent, so I'll discuss them in greater detail now. Okay, this uh, detail uh, is very helpful to determine the various functional possibilities that you have. With the ePlan data portal, there, of course, is a jump to the top of the page if you're you know, if you have a list of several results and you want to get back to the top, you can just click on that on any one of the parts and it will quickly jump you to the top of the results list. This icon here uh, inserts the graphical macro only. That is the schematic macro or the panel layout macro. It doesn't uh, download data into your parts database. This icon here inserts the uh, symbol macro or panel layout macro and also downloads the parts information to your parts database. Uh, next, we have the shopping cart with the red equals. This is the assigned part data. Many designers work in a workflow in which they place the symbols in the schematic first and then assign parts information later. Uh, with this tool, if you don't happen to have the part in your parts database, you can select or multiple select symbols in your schematic and download parts information directly from the data portal to your schematic in your parts database at the same time. This is by far the symbol that I use the most. That is one to import the, the data, all the parts data. So that would import everything that's associated with that part. Now, if you're use, downloading more than one part, many users will use the shopping cart. That allows you to select multiple items and uh, save them to a virtual shopping cart, which you can then later download all the parts in your shopping cart in one operation. 
uh, up here on the second column, we have uh, import manufacturer's name and data. Uh, there is a, uh, a node within the tree view uh, in the parts manager that keeps track of manufacturer's name and information. There is a small uh, table in there for manufacturer's information, such as uh, emails and street addresses and phone numbers and that sort of thing. Much of that information is available on the data portal or through the data portal. So if you need to update that for several manufacturers, you can simply click on this icon for that manufacturer on any part and it will download that information to your parts database. You can also click on this icon to launch and go directly to the manufacturer's website. And at the bottom, we have a couple of icons for uh, extended functionality for Data Portal Professional users. Data Portal Professional is an add-on license for the Data Portal. Okay, returning to ePlan, let's go to the next tab. All right, and that would be the Search tab. All right, we, of course, up here have a uh, fully functional uh, search box up here, text box, where you can enter manufacturer's part numbers, partial part numbers, descriptions, partial descriptions. And that can be very helpful, but sometimes you know the manufacturer that you're trying to search and you know the part number or some attribute and you can use uh, this search uh, filter here. Now, typically, uh, if I click on the manufacturer's uh, tab here, uh, I will be presented with a list of all the various manufacturers on the data portal. I can select any of those that I want um, to create a, a search. So it typically creates a Boolean search. So if I have uh, an Allen Bradley uh, manufacturer selected and I type in the designation of safety relay, I will get only results from Allen Bradley that contain the word safety relay. So if you're looking for a part and you know the manufacturer, you have a preferred manufacturer, that can be very helpful and can save you a lot of time. Um, you can, maybe you're looking for a VFD or a, you know, maybe a, a Mavi Mont, you know the model name from a particular manufacturer. You can enter that in here and it'll quickly filter the search results to include only that information. So that's, that's very handy. And if you wanna clear uh, one of these filters, you can either uh, select the text and delete it, or you can hit the red X, all right? Uh, okay, now onto the next tab. The next tab is the user data tab. And this is where you configure the data portal for your uh, personal preferences. How many parts per page you wanna display it by default? What type of view do you wanna display in, whether it's the block or the table, that sort of stuff. On the properties tab, there is a place where you can uh, create a part inquiry. If there's a part on the data portal, if you're looking for a part on the data portal from a specific manufacturer that has items on the data portal, but you can't seem to find it, uh, they may not have their whole product lineup on the data portal. Uh, you can use the uh, create tool to submit a request directly to the ePlan CAD admin at that manufacturer to provide that information on the data portal, all right? So I would go there, but it has quite a bit of my personal information on that tab. All right, so next we have the shopping cart. Um, the shopping cart is uh, very handy if you're you need to download more than a handful of parts. Um, just uh, when you're in the list mode, um, simply select the purple shopping bag to add a part to the shopping cart. And then when you return to the uh, main shopping cart area, you should now have a collection of parts to download. And to download them, simply go up to the shopping cart here with the double shopping cart with a green arrow and select that icon and it will download all the parts. Next, we have the info tab. Now, there's not a lot to see here in the uh, app version of this, the ePlan native version of this, but if we navigate over to the web version of it, 
and bring it up. There is a interesting uh, tool here where you can log in to the data portal and request a lost username or password. The data portal is also available as a website. You can see in my URL up here, eplandata.de slash portal. You can just Google it, ePlan Data Portal. You'll, a link will come right up. Uh, looks identical. Again, you can review, you can search, uh, but you can't download parts from this, all right? Um, a, an additional feature here on the Data Portal web version that's not available in the application um, that you should be aware of, if you ever lose your ePlan um, password, you can launch the ePlan Data Portal website, and if you navigate to the Manufacturers tab to the far right here, there is a icon that says Login, which I will select now. When I select that, I will be greeted with my login information. Um, and in the case of the users who have lost their password, I can select this text here that happens to have a hyperlink to another dialog. It's pretty, uh, you know, it's, it's a super secret. It's not very intuitive or obvious, but here it is. Um, so just put in your uh, surname, your last name, uh, followed by the email that you use to register your uh, user access to the data portal and submit requ the request button, all right? And it may take a day or two for your uh, request to go through, I believe, both the username creation or the, the access uh, granting and the renewal of your password are not automatic. Uh, I believe uh, an admin at ePlan gets an email and they review it and then submit it. So it could be a few business days. Okay, that about wraps it up for the data portal. Sorry it went so long, but there's quite a bit going on in that thing. Uh, check back here soon. I should have a... Uh, a video up for importing parts lists. And then uh, I've already got one pretty much wrapped up for creating uh, 3D pro panel macros. So until then, uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, come back soon, bye. If you're looking for help with your next ePlan project, please contact us here at multilinedesigns.com, your independent ePlan specialists.